This video was made possible by viewers like you on Patreon. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Oh, hell yeah. Are you ready for the pain, D? Uh, Granted, most of the pain is going to be on my end because I'm going to be the one controlling Marty. But, boy howdy, I haven't played this game in nearly a decade since it came out. Huh. It came out in 2015, so give it another two years. And uh, at the end, I wish I still had the footage. I cried. Not because it's a good story, ladies and gentlemen. Because this game is garbage. It's Telltale's first foray into point-and-click adventures and... Boy, howdy, it does hit fucking show! Okay, so, yeah, good. There are only five chapters, luckily. Now, here's a fun fact about this game. Marty is not played by Michael J. Fox because, you know, he's got Parkinson's and it's hard for him to be able to... Co like, this game would have taken longer to make, though I yeah. he does show up at the end as a grown-up version of the baby who peed on him. So that's something to look forward to. But, uh, Doc Brown is, however, played by Christopher Lloyd. Oh. So at least there's that. And he sounds pretty much the same. Because he's been 105 since the 1980s. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that so much. Come on, give it, give it. Uh, J.P. Penny. You see that back there? I guess they couldn't get the, you know... Is J.C. Penny even still a thing? I don't know. I... I'm, mad. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed they could get the rights to the fucking DeLorean. Would you like to see goal when Marty has new goals? Yes, that'd be nice. Thank you. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get Experiment number one, and it works. In you go. Get down. <coughs> works the first the time. The first it. Works the first oh, time, oh, every oh, time. Okay. Please note that 60% of the time, it works every time. Watch. That doesn't make any I sense. Eject, uh, have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. That's a great name to give a dog because most dogs are not Einstein's. <laughs> you got that thing hooked up to the car? Yep. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. I think they retroactively added liver spots to him, too. Like, how old was Doc supposed to be? Because in the movie, he was only like 45. In the first movie? Where he looked like he was ancient. I know. What the fuck? That's one of those people with the unfortunate face of looking old forever. If my calculations are correct. Like, and this baby remember Mr. Wilson from the Dennis the Menace You're 90s movie? Remember that specific shit. guy who had the mustache? Yeah. That dude has looked like that since he was 20. I shit you not. You look him up, he has always looked that old. Watch it's this, crazy. Watch this. Oh! Okay, he sounds a little older than he did. Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. He disintegrated Einstein. It's not a bad Marty either, right? It's not perfect. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. Oh, and um, the uh, the the guys who made Back to the Future consider this the actual fourth story, because of course they would. We shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You you put your dog in a time machine made out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux espresso. Oh, oh shit! Uh oh. Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where 
Where's the card? A I timeline divergence. Caught with us 27 <coughs> seconds ago. Gotcha. What happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. <coughs> you think he would try it with a shittier vehicle first? DeLoreans were expensive even then. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? Well, it's a capacitor that fluxes, you that fucking idiot. Time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Okay. It's mass equals you know what these are, D? C and the wrong hands! <laughs> C squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of M. Um, Doc, shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyans show up? It would have been crazy if they did do a fourth movie that played out like this. Hmm. I think it would be actually too Doc? surreal for audiences. Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake. You fucked with time, homie. I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Doc! Psych, it was all dream! <laughs> a great setup to a Back to the Future story, Marty? and it was all a dream! Okay? Suck a dick! Yeah, Mom, I. It was, it was just a nightmare. <laughs> Greetings yeah. from the moon. It was in the past. And Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. I love that photo. Nice it's such a good recreation. Sick. Also, that does it not sound like Lorraine. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Couldn't Holy you crap. just get the okay. actress who played his mom? She's still hot, by the way. I don't care if she's 70. I'd hit that. <laughs> no, nah, I'm lucky. If I went back in time and ran to my mom, she was not... She was kind of homely. If I ran into Lorraine, though, I'd be like, Marty, I'm your new dad now. You know who actually has stayed fucking handsome the entire time? He's the guy who plays Biff. <laughs> fucking straight up Silver Fox daddy fucking vibe going on. It's like, all right, man. You're like 80 years old and you still look like that. Get the fuck out. That's not true. He's about the same age as um, Michael J. Fox. I love this recreation, this shitty recreation. I say giant shitty. speaker. I only say shitty because the graphics are shitty, because it's their first attempt. A state sale. Because yeah, I think he's dead. I think the motherfucker would show up with his time machine and be like, Honey, wait, I gotta get like get a few Dad, things. Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and this. And yeah, no, that's not Christmas Glover. Why? Because that, that man is insane. Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? The guy who it's plays his dad, fair. remember? Like Willard, These remember the the mouse movie? Worse. Yeah. I love him in that movie. That's why. Hey, oh, Marty. there he is. Hi, Biff. Really wish they got some of the Come old boys. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure. Because <coughs> it would have been great to have him. Nah, I guess I'm just remembering. Make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. I know what I'm looking for. Look at that fucking speaker, though. I need that. Anytime <laughs> my neighbors are blasting music. Just kick that fucking thing into high gear. They're like, do you like it? Oh, oh, you don't like me blasting music so loud you can hear it? Huh. Huh. That's interesting. 
I, I wonder I wonder why you don't like that. Huh. Interesting, isn't it? Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Come on, I saw it first. Eh, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. You yeah, used to be... Yeah. What happened to him being a pushover, working for the McFly's? Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked it's me... It's a catheter that fluxes, again. you this fucking dumbass. Like it might be worth something. <laughs> Ah! It's time to rock and roll. Don't ask your dad. He's the most unhelpful hey, pushover. Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. It's my fucking guitar. You better iron things out with Let's the bank. Let's make some noise. You don't need money, don't take fame. You don't need no credit card on the ride this train. By train, he means dick. And you're like, oh shit, that's right, he does mean dick. Oh yeah. Like the old school way, you gotta like actually select the item and plug it in and everything. Here's I like how it's wireless. One, two, three. Hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff. You think he would have a memory flash? Like, why do you look like that kid who played Johnny B. Good at a fucking school dance? You're right. Before the song even came out. Well, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. What, now you're a pushover? So you're a pushover for him, but not for me? Kids have ruined rock and roll. Where'd the book end up uh, on the floor? I know, I thought it. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Biff, I thought I told what am you I not supposed to, to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Uh, sure thing, Mr. McFly. Uh, I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. God. Okay, so I need him to be standing there. I need the dad to be distracted. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Shut up. Whoever you are, you ruined Biff. Now, come on. Let's talk to the dad. There we go. He's dead. Why does he lumber like a monkey? About Biff, Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe Punching me, him in the I face, left and right. Him. So can I. What the I fuck is that can. face? Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. You can waste time with dialogue or... You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. There he is. Callbacks. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever okay. you say. Do it. Boom. <laughs> Uh -huh. on, Biff. Oh shit! Hey, uh, almost said shit. Ah, uh, Doc, where are you? He's outside. No, Einstein's outside. No, wait. 
It's the little kid that did the weird hand thing at the end. Remember him? Mm. He's like weirdly fiddling his crutch or something. That's who showed up. I'm glad they didn't try to continue the series in live action with like Mar uh, Doc's kids or whatever. That would be horrible. Basically, the guys who made the movies were like, yeah, there'll never be a remake. There'll never be a reboot. It's like, good. They got three perfect movies. And if you think that two and three aren't good, just imagine how bad a remake would be. Where do you come from, boy? Yeah, you now they're fucking here? godlike, aren't they? Yeah. Back to the Future is the most consistent trilogy in quality that I've ever seen. All the movies are good. You're telling me the hoverboard scene, hoverboarding, all the hoverboarding isn't like as cool as anything that happened in the first movie? Come on. Listen, the only reason we really liked the first movie is because Lorraine was fucking hot and we all wanted to bang her. Okay? We all wanted to bang Lorraine. I want to bang Lorraine. I want to bang her right now. With D's gone, I'll probably fucking beat one out to her. Just just for good measure. <laughs> we did it. We got too rude. Fired. <laughs> you fired Harley. <laughs> You're gonna fire me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fire a guy who does all the work. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land. But the DeLorean was destroyed. And that some time is now. Or then, or uh, maybe later. That's also why I like the third movie. DeLorean destroyed. Story over. You know, it's like when you kill the Emperor and blow up the Death Star. The story should be over. At least that story. You could start a new story. Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Somehow the DeLorean has returned. Just like somehow Emperor Palpatine has returned. Right, right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, jeez. <coughs> oh, jeez, Doc. Oh, jeez. Crap. Come on, Marty. Get, get, stop, stop. Actually, I would love a... A uh, modded version where it's just the Rick and Morty voices. That would be kind of funny. Take the shoe and hit the thing. Right? Hey, Doc. Who's I shoe? know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Maybe it's your wife. His wife's. My wife. Looks like the time circuits still work. Flux now capacitor. I know when to look for Doc. Is fluxing. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Thank you. I can use those to enter a date with I the will time circuits. fucking beat you, fake Once Marty. I know when to look for Doc. Listen, I'm not about child abuse, but, uh, oh, you know what? I know. Wait. Random. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Bit. I, or anyone else, really. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Yeah, okay, what are we supposed to be doing? Follow the ch- Fucking fantastic. A high-heeled shoe. Maybe I'm not- Oh! I have a shoe! And I have a dog. That can only mean one thing. Dog, what do you find this shoe. shoe Liney? Great Scott, I think he's onto something. <sighs> I love the SNL bit with all the different people trying out for Back to the Future. Great Scott, that's a good job. You did great, Scott. Everyone give Scott a hand. It's supposed to be um, De Niro. Okay, now we're getting. Everybody <laughs> applaud Scott. Over here. Doing You're a great job, Scott. To dock, well, I mean. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Ainy? Get banged by an old lady! Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? Hi, hi there. I'm your best friend. I love you very much. Squirrel! Hi there. <laughs> you, you, you saw Up, right? Yeah. You didn't see Up? <gasps> you didn't see Up? 
Uh, the guy with the balloon house. <gasps> Hold on a second. I'm making a note. Make D watch up. We've never seen up. I can't believe it. That's like probably Pixar's greatest. Hell, the first 15 minutes are going to break you emotionally. I know I say that a lot, but it does it to everyone. He hasn't seen up. Step away from the door. Ah! Now, let me get a look at you. It's Satan. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Just whip out your dick, dude. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I like that. Come on in. <laughs> Somebody needs to cryodate that shoe and realize that it's like 50 years out of place. Yeah, it's her shoe. What's up? What the fuck you looking at? I'm a man holding a shoe with a dog. Don't question it. No, it's not a life preserver. Thank you, motorcycle. Look at that fucking sound bit. Yeah. That's why I need. we need the two separate mics that don't pick up on that shit. May this be the last month we record stuff without that. Mm. Which will mean your this what? mic will have to get closer Took to you so you can get enough. nice. You want to be about that um, far from a lot it. Of stairs. Sound right. To return the shoe, I mean, I lost it ages. And then I'll just have another one on this side you for can this computer. Put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and ordered. You've kept that yeah, shoe for like 50 years? Some sort of reward now. No, 40 years? I, Imagine I losing a shoe and, and then just keeping the other shoe. I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. But I try not to jump to conclusions. Then again, look at all those newspapers. After all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. To be it's fair, we did see Hill Valley. <clears throat> and they were some fucking hooligans. Also, big oh, question, when did Biff study. have a kid and when did that kid have Griff? Because Biff didn't have a kid when, when Marty was around, but Marty's kid and, and Biff's grandkid are like the same age. Or did Biff as an old man get with like a young chick and finally pop a kid out? Actually, I like that theory. I like the theory that old Biff eventually found a chick and that's why... Grip. Wait, no, he calls him Gramps, though. Maybe he does that because he's an asshole, though. Mm. I can see that. I can see him calling his own dad Gramps because he's like 50 years older than him. Make it canon. So what we need to do is we need to confuse the old lady. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. I'm trying to remember what you're supposed to do. Because it's such a tedious fucking process. Because it's those old point and click adventure games. That's right, you never played Sam and Max. No, and I, I made you play, um. Sam and Isles collide with manure truck. <laughs> uh, uh. Nice picture. Full throttle, which is basically like one of the beginnings of that. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. You gotta ask the old lady. Huh. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the that boy watches. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a porno joke, but just like his father. There's a clue to find. I was gonna make a porn there, joke, but they did it for me, dude. I don't even know 
would you start looking? <coughs> uh, well, why not ask the old lady? Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Oh, yeah. Miss Strickland. Guess whose mom she is. Yes. Principal Strickland. <coughs> hey, when did you lose Remember your shoe? When you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. That's Why has she got a Joker fine. smile what though? A nosy Nelly. Makes sense that they did a Batman game that featured Joker now. eventually. But Oh, oh we got to retry this. It. Actually, we did the first episode and I've yes, only done the first I episode remember. for I Santa Cruz Joker. You want to just join me for the rest of them for Santa Cruz Joker? Was it? For which one? Oh, for the yes. Telltale Batman games? That speakeasy bird. It basically yeah. picks up right where you left off. A speakeasy. Uh, but instead, I punctured it. Don't act so surprised. Yo, we'll do it Monday. We'll do the podcast, and then I'll put oh, I'll joke her up, and we'll do that. And what's great about the short hair? Easy to get that green paint out with just a hose. An illegal speakeasy. Cool. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. I will though. Was a time when gangsters ruled the town. Woo! Anarchy! Quaked in their beds. Hell yeah. They better quake. So, where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Wait, I think she, I think she might be his her sis, his sister. Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden. Oh yeah, no, because he was alive in the fifties, so yeah, it's a sister. Town Square. She clearly right is a lot worse for wear than he is, though, because that dude is pissing vinegar and on it. Today. He's like McFly, motherfucker! You're fucking ditching again, huh? Again, how old was that guy when he played the role? Because he's supposed to be as old as her, or at least like maybe like seven to ten years off. Don't let me keep you from your business. Handboy, oh fuck yeah! Back to the Future Part Four. Handboy, were you around when I first did this game? I think Hamboy might have been, I don't know, maybe he was part of the audience back then. That was like years and years and years ago. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. It's actually amazing. It hasn't actually started to boil. For real. There is there is no water on the Every time she walks through there, you know when you walk through a doorway and you completely forget what you were doing? Yeah. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall, Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't see the cat, but the cat sees you. Where's the cat? What cat? The polite guest stays out of the host's kitchen, Mr. McFly. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. It's because the stove isn't on, but she's old and stupid. Excuse me, Miss Strickland? Probably not if it was between Litter 2.0 and Time Lord of Gotham era. Okay, yeah, then it what? yeah. It was, um, I think I was still Lunatic Leonard at the time. Yeah, that was a long time ago. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. Dude, wait until she discovers the internet. <laughs> the Hill Valley Telegraph I wonder if there are still published. newspaper hoarders. Get out. Every single Because newspapers aren't even really a thing. 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. My grandparents had like a stack of like the special time magazines that had, like featured like special people and stuff. Oh, they were the weirdest. I 
I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. <sighs> Wait. Don't let me keep you from your business. I know what I need to do. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But and I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how brother. rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. And I'll be right back. I guess not. Wait, let me see those binoculars again. Just get around the old lady, Kate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take a look. Go ahead, dear. All I'm doing is pushing for. Oh, here we go. 1932. Now I got my porn. Rebuilt in February 1932. The fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. <laughs> ha 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 ha. That's bad. Strickland? Doing some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on lower things. Is that? Chip Cannon! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Biff Tannen. <laughs> Don't let me keep you from your business. Oh my god, this is so tedious though, right? How long have we been in this nonsense? What are these? Oh wow. The editorial trophies. Cat Lovers Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Um. <sighs> I mean, if you say so. Pictures. Pictures. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Fun! Well, kid, we, I don't know where to find a date. So let's... There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Surely. The water is boiling, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> uh, airplane. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy. Okay, finally. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob... 30 minutes in and we haven't even time-traveled yet. The suspect in the Just saying. Arson case, a drifter known as Carl you see why Sagan, this game drives me insane? Carl Sagan. Hey, boy, I cried at the end. What's the day? Not because it was a good game with a good story, but because it, it hurt me and it broke me. My newspapers! Oh, Pardon shit. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Ow! Oh, get out! Freaking really? Even when I gotta call the cops on some hobo being a noise disturbing asshole, I don't fucking make up shit about being attacked. I'm just like, yo, there's a guy in a van with a barking dog Marty. blasting music. Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, I'm dressed for a Halloween party. It's not Halloween. It's a costume for school play. Uh, didn't I tell you? I got the lead in the school play. We're doing Grapes of Wrath. Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh, 
Never mind. <laughs> Hamboy's yeah, like, I get that the world building is so you don't notice, you know so you notice doing, the changes right? later, but I does it need to so. take up 98% hey, of the first episode? You gotta go out on a it's like, dude, no, I feel it. Love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You barely know I was gone. Guess who George's dad is? Oh, wait, no. Hey, George's go, grandpa go. is the baby that peed on Marty. That's weird to think about, right? That's weird to think about, right? George's grandpa is the baby that peed on Marty. I've got to turn on the time circuits first. <laughs> uh, Isn't that great? Oh, that's right. I got to do everything in time order. Circuits on. Flux, flux capacitor. capacitor. Uh, flux Fluxing. My mom would love this game because she loves Back to the Future so much. Almost okay. as much as I do. If Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931... She loved Michael J. Fox. Before, She's like, I'm so sad what happened out. It's like, I don't You don't want to show up the day before, you want to show up a week before. Right? Give yourself time to fucking... If I could get a DeLorean with an electric engine, I'd, I'd fucking die happy. That's not true, I'll never be happy. But it'd be killer to have. Ready, I need... Yeah, it's the music! Time travel! Woo! Izma! Drive it! Drive it! Put your hands up! We're not going fast enough. Put your hands up! 88 miles an hour is pretty fast. The head boy's like, great voice I have to give for Marty. Not 100% perfect, but the vibe he gets is perfect. Exactly. It takes a little adjusting, but you get used to it pretty quick. Hey, oh, oh, way, oh! Spaceship showing out of nowhere, oh, hey, oh, gangster shit. Nanu, nanu. Nanu, nanu, you can go 88 miles an hour. That old jalopy can barely go 40. Just go. Just drive. Mm. You're in a fucking... You're in a modern car. I mean, that's why the DeLorean had to go up to 88 miles an hour. Because it's literally as fast as the car goes. Like, even when you play it on GTA Online, it only goes up to, like, 88 miles an hour. Did you get that achievement in, uh... Fucking, uh... State of Decay? No. Oh, get your car going fast to 88 miles? You gotta get THE car going 80 miles an hour. And you have to be wearing the red life jacket. There's a DeLorean in the game? Einstein. Sick. More or less. Oh, boy. Handboy says, LOL the dog. I love 3D dog models. I know, right? Oh shit, look! We're at the town square again. But now it's the 19 fucking 30s! Hey! Oh, yeah! Get that razzmatazz, baby! Gotta get on out of the with my gal. Oh, yeah. Okay, she just got hit by that trolley. Yep. She's dead. You think people on bikes nowadays don't know how to fucking ride? Uh. Fucking talk about when those things first fucking came out, man. I gotta pull the mic away from me because I am loud and I'm always peeking the mic. <laughs> and I've actually turned it down recently. I could see my lines showing up on the recorder. Wait. Damn. Yeah, okay. Now we're a little more even, me and D. That's why I want to get the separate mics. Because then I record them separate. Oh, look. Excuse me, young man. Look who it is. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street. You don't recognize her? We just met her. Reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. She was kind of a tasty though, cookie yeah. back in the day, What's huh? Your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has Why does she also look like she belongs in Bioshock? Years, namely, Red Hill Valley of the Scourge of Liquor. They kind of uh, do look like the the Bioshock character models in full lighting. Mm -hmm. Right? Because Bioshock actually kind of looks like shit, but the good lighting fixes everything. Like Half-Life 2. There's got to be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. 
It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Uh. You mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. <laughs> more upstanding youth oh, like she wants yourself. to fuck. You have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt. You know she would ride your dick like there's no tomorrow until she is done. Which is kind of hot in its own way. Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see. Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did. With public spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's. Should we go with? Michael Goylone? Sonny Crockett? Harry. Ka you know what? I, I recognize this name. Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Well, he's not my dog. I gotta find Technically, dog. he's not my dog, and he's not really aggressive. He's just... I don't think he likes you. He which just is wants weird. to sniff your crotch because dogs do that. Yeah. You can, you, oh, here's him running. Here's him walking. Here's him uh, running. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? Because he's an idiot. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> Zemeckis, solicitor. you know. Like the brothers who made the movies. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob Sudeikis! Hi, Bob! Bank of Italy? I guess. Why is that all... How can I, I help you, sir? <laughs> I don't need money. I don't really have any business in there. Why even go? Why even go in? You could have just been like, I got no business in there. What movies are showing? The Man Who Made a Monster. Oh, it's Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Not only is it royalty free, but yeah, one of the movies came out around that time. Sure, why not? Nope. I'm at A. There we go. I hit A, but nothing happened. Then I hit all the other buttons. That guy looks familiar. McFly. That guy also looks familiar. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? That's you right, know, it's old kid Tannen. Getting kind of hungry, Biff's dad. So I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just Why does it sound like a 13 year old boy? Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas. Maybe like he is, huh? I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want up that. Up the though, river? You don't want me to be swimming do with the fishes. You don't uh, want to be no, wearing cement shoes, do you? Kid. All right. That's better. What are you looking you at? You wouldn't want me wearing cement shoes like some corner of driftwood, you. would you? Well, well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. He gets it. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Aw. Uh, now scram! You got it, boss. The McFlys have been bullied Don't by the Tannins for years. <laughs> Generation. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two to your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, hey! I'm off to make myself irresistible. <coughs> Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Let's burn it down while he's gone. Now, we don't need to really be here yet, but it was kind of cool to see the, uh... 
the other players in this. All the bullying that happened. See, here's the thing. With the other games we play like this, I know what we're doing so I can keep it to like an hour, hour and a half. This one, I have no idea how long this is going to go. I'm hoping about an hour and a half, but it's been 45 minutes already. Doc! <gasps> there he is! Doc! Now we're getting that plot rolling. What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1986? The automatic retrieval system, of course. I'm almost forgotten about that. <laughs> so what's you our would. plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Hey, Scott! I'm Jesus! I'm gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Hmm. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportion. <coughs> Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I missed that. <laughs> I missed that, Doc. Smarty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. I hope he dies peacefully. You know, he's getting old in real life, and I just, I really hope he gets a nice peaceful death. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. <laughs> I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Amboy hey, says he I'll loves seeing him play Doc lab. every no, now no, and then. No, nearly too. complete. You need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? <laughs> Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. Oh. You want me to convince oh, I forgot to record the chat to build again. a rocket Monday. drill to break you we'll out do of jail? Monday. Precisely. <coughs> this is why you never got your damn thing working. You had him come steal it to help your future self to get back to the future from the past to past. Right. Oh my okay. god, the paradox is already starting. I know what's going on. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. Oh, sure. Oh, it was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. <laughs> I've been to jail and I've never seen a jail cell with a window to the street. <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. I remember in the mask, we just looked down the alleyway where... The random alleyway in LA where she's also getting mugged. Like, what the fuck? Nobody ever really talks about the convenience of that shit. Super convenient. I like that movie. I can understand why people don't, because it's a very, like, bombastic film. I like it. Hey, you. Um. Okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. I'm already, you need to be more assertive. You need to throw something at him. For we were born only yesterday and know nothing. And our days on Earth are but a shadow. Actually, I won't be born for about 40 years. <coughs> I mean, it's true, but you shouldn't say it out loud. 
I think he'd be useless by now, right? Uh, why does he also remember when the kid in Jumanji was turning into a monkey? Why does he kind of look like that? Remember? Remember Jumanji? The kid, his lips courthouse. started doing that thing where they told me worked at the curled in and got real thin and everything. He kind of has that like that same face. What I'm saying is they they did not do Marty McFly some justice. Like. Michael J. Fox was a handsome young man. Okay. He was. Um, you know, I he's got his own hair style. I just... I mean, if it works, it works. You know, it's like Matthew Broderick. He always wears that little kid haircut. <laughs> he's like... I, Matt, Ferris Bueller. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's... It basically has had the same haircut forever, and it's the same kid haircut. Hi, Ionie. I like how Einstein's just like, I am happy sitting in the park. I am good boy sitting but in the park next to a tree that I pee on. This is my tree. Being I smell my tree. My tree smells good. I am Ionie. Being McFly and the musician, blah, 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 I assumed it for the character he'd have longer hair as a rocker. Now I stand up. Uh, now I sniff. There. Now I go around. Sniff, now I sniff, sniff some sniff. more. Now I sniff a little more. Because I am dog. Now I sit. Because I am dog and I have no thoughts. Hand boy is like, yeah, LOL, little kid haircut. Yeah, that is definitely what um, Ferris Bueller's actor has. Matthew Broderick. You know, he's married to Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, that's Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> you know that they've been married since like the fucking 90s or something. They've been together forever. There he is. Don't touch those. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc. Uh... Nice to meet you. I'm Michael uh, Corleone. I'm at Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. <laughs> well, we definitely got to chase his ass down. You don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast story. Wait, Tom Wilson did bo voice Biff in this? Uh, Bullshit. Bones connected to the thigh bone? Amazing. Damn. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. James Arnold Taylor does young Emmett Brown. You know, I'm gonna go talk to other. I think I recognize the name James Arnold Taylor. Yeah, he's been in a lot of like Star Wars stuff. Okay, Clone Wars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a he's a Star Wars name. That's where I recognize him from. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my computer. I should be looking at the screen. Oh car. my god, and every time you change camera angles, so you're going this way with uh, your left, and you change camera angles, and instead of continuing to go that direction, it then turns left to that camera angle. Ah! Stuck. You will cry when we're done with this. My younger self yet. Guess who I bumped into at the soup kitchen? 
My grandfather. God damn it! That's it. Or change his future or anything. Good. I wish I could. I'm gonna bring my grandma though. Treat him like dirt. Don't worry. History plays out as it's supposed to. He'll soon be out from under kitchen and free to live out his life as a humble accountant. What was Of course, he's an accountant. Sylvia. Right, Sylvia. What do you know about Edna Strickland? Edna? We never really socialized when I was younger. She was a few years older than me, and we traveled in different socioeconomic circles. <coughs> you ask? She's... She thinks you're a hero for burning down that speakeasy. She's doing a story on you. A story? Oh, yes. Now I remember. Ask Edna. The etiquette column that doubled as a pro-temperance soapbox. She believed that the consumption of alcohol would inevitably lead to a complete societal breakdown. Sounds like a fun She's guess. not inaccurate. She's seen her when the hippies started showing up in the 60s. She just somehow lost her mind. <laughs> it would explain a lot. Oh, yes, it would. Yeah. Let's see what else we can throw at him. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's Deep. selling off all your stuff. I can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell I'm like an Egyptian well, god. You, <laughs> you know what? They had like the things on their chin. Yeah. For those who don't know, I, I made a plastic cup hook onto my chin and my chin fat. That's the same thing I had. I can't talk unless... Otherwise, it falls off. Damn it. Fuck, it failed. It's because well, your neck I moves you as you talk and it right. vibrates to cut out of place. Say, yeah, look at this shit. Tight. That shit vibrates. <laughs> you won't even talk to me. I find that hard to believe. Tell me what happened. Um, I tried asking him about your rocket drill, but he says he's not a scientist. What? What? Oh, uh, father. What's he got to do with this? In 1931, I was still deathly afraid of my father discovering. I wanted to show you something, by the way, D. Predilections. So we're this far into the game. The raps, practicing science and art. The lightsaber. From his prying eye. That sucks. So first of all, you gotta that press and hold it to turn it on. Okay. Actually, I eventually stood up to him, but right now my own self probably thinks I didn't talk. Sent by my father to check up on. Then hold it for like a second. So it does, so the volume is lower. It doesn't blow out the speaker, and then now that's the blue. It's called the protector. It has a bunch of presets. But it, here's what's fun, right? So for those who don't know, I'm holding Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. It's the green one, but the actual lightsaber handle in the movie is the one Obi-Wan, old Obi-Wan uses in the first film. So essentially, it is the same lightsaber. You're just not supposed to know that as a viewer. Yeah, yeah the, the look on your face. That's crazy, right? Yeah. It's the same fucking lightsaber. It's the same fucking one. I was just yeah, watching an interview. Back and re -watch that. I was watching an interview with Mark Hamill talking about that. But here's the thing: you turn it off, then you press and hold. Wanderer. It changes. There's a few presets I like. The night. This one's fun. This is uh, the the Kylo Ren one. Oh, is that bright for you? Oh. Damn, dude. He's got sensitive ears and eyes. Fuck. The assassin. That's also a red one. The dark sword. No, I, I'm pretty sure... Oh, this one's fun. Listen to that sound effect. I changed it to green. But that's the uh, dark saber. Close your eyes so you can hear the sound effects. Cool, right? So it actually lit up black. No, it lights up white because uh, so you could get a bunch of variations of this of the the, the lightsabers, but they all come with the same presets, just right. different handles. So if you get the dark saber version, it does do that, but then you can press and hold like I'm doing now. New Horizon. The New Horizon is uh, I think supposed to be uh, Ray. Cause it's yellow. Is that the closest I'll get to having a gold one? Uh, yeah, you, you can make it a little more goldish. 
I want gold and silver. I know. So. Wait. The chosen. the chosen is purple, which makes me think of Mace, who thought he was the chosen one. Because he can use the pod, which allows you to tap into your dark side without legitimately using your dark side. Hold on. There's one other. Truly lost. This is Vader's. So you are truly lost. So my friend is truly lost. That's the line it's referencing. This makes a lot of deep cut references. It has the perfect sound effect. That is very much Vader. Like, I love it. And then you can change the light to any Double of the sound agent. effects. Double agent. That one flashes. Some of them, instead of pulsing, the they do like a, a flash. This one's great. This is Leia's color. It's that nice, like light bluish, almost turquoise-ish color. I like it. It's a nice color. Fuck you, Leia, for having a good color and never <laughs> using it. Fallen Apprentice Magenta. That's a weird one, because that's the only one that's a name plus a color. It's basically just purple. I know. Weird, right? The Dark Lord Order. I think that one flashes also. I'm not going to turn on any ones that... The master. Ah, and this is the one that's made for specifically for this lightsaber. Luke. It pulses a little bit too, which I like. But it makes the right sound effects and everything, and yeah. So yeah, that was a... Uh, hundred and like seventy bucks. Worth it! <laughs> Super duper fucking worth it! I'm not gonna get up to hang it back up, but it's got a nice little clip that I could hang it up on my my coat hanger and everything without my other coats, right? Sorry, guys, I had to show D the cool ass fucking lightsaber. You know, your younger self seems really dedicated to the law. It's a facade, I assure you. I had to keep up appearances to appease my father. Yeah, I feel that. What do I do to convince Teen Doc that I'm not a spy? I'm not sure. Really? Why does your younger self mutter all the time? Muttering? <coughs> what well, I mean, muttering. I, I, I never mutter. Doc, you're only supposed to be like 50. I, Valley Expo. I love how he's like, oh, I never mutter yes, while he's actually Expo. muttering. How could I have forgotten? In a few months, the younger me will put on a demonstration at the Hill Valley Exposition, my first public foray into the world of science. Everyone in town will be there, including a number of noted inventors who shaped my career. So it was a big success. <coughs> no, it was a miserable failure. Yay! It was a spectacularly miserable failure. Amboy says his brother has a similar one. The one I'm gonna get you, I'm pretty sure, is the same brand. <coughs> well, I'm gonna get you when you have me order it. By the way, do you need a new trench coat? I think a more casual one that isn't full of chains. Because I could get you one that's like the one I have. Because I was thinking of something to get you for Christmas. I... Like, what are you? Like, a 2X? You'd probably be a 2X with that brand. Um, I've got a 29-inch shoulders. No, so it's not your shoulders, it's your chest. Um... You probably have... I'm 35 inch, 36 inch chest. This shirt is a double X. You don't have the man tits I have. See, these are the man tits you get when you grow them when you're a, before you're even a teenager. Okay, these are these are the supple titties that if I wanted to transition to becoming a woman, I'd have a good starting pair. All right. <laughs> See, I, what I love about doing this is we can make fun of ourselves and stuff like that to an audience of people who get us, and that's why it's fun. Um, what does this expo have to do with you muttering all the time? When I was younger, I used to relieve stress by working on complex mathematical conundrums. Uh, I well, used to relieve stress as a teenager by jerking an off problem in an attempt after to work smoking out copious amounts of weed and then passing out for like three hours. What was I muttering about? I don't know. When you come uh, so hard, you just. When the universe is something else, I'm not so good at equations. That's, That's when you know bad. you're touching yourself just right. Who needs a woman when I can tickle myself better than any woman? <laughs> my hand does more for me than any woman ever could! With this hand I can create! I can destroy! 
<laughs> I'm drinking a little too much alcohol. I still can't figure out what your younger self is muttering about. Last, if only I could hear him myself. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay, but don't forget we're on a bit of a deadline here. You remember what we found in the, the DeLorean when it first showed up? A shoe? Yes, but before that. A dog? After that. In between those two. A tape recorder. God damn it. That way. There we go. Oh, right. You gotta take the tape recorder to his... Vaguely annoying his younger self. Think, Emmett, think. H to the it is not the Doc doing his younger voice. It's A not um, by the inverse of A Christopher Lloyd. What? No, what? Ugh. How very irritating. You see what I'm talking about with this game? Yeah. Arnie, come here. Hey, how you doing, Arnie? That's it? I called him Arnie and not Arnie. He's Arnie. That's what you name your uh, Doberman. Hello there. I am Arnold. I'm a Doberman. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you know <coughs> I'm busy? <coughs> Come on, Doc. Uh, damn it. Uh, drop the legal eagle act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Man, those yeah, cameras are moving that. fast. Every morning. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. <sighs> so, Emmett... What time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till nine. Nine at night? But today's Saturday. Right. Oh, I thought my so cat I was probably right won't there. get off before ten. Let's go both smoke in his face. Where's my cat? I don't know. He went somewhere. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? <coughs> what do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheel <coughs> turning. That's I was like, did you say sugary beverages? Besides, if I left before I'm in. Eight, my pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, <laughs> just, <laughs> <incorruptible> <laughs> pussy. Judge that the old has ever seen. The only people no, I'm sorry, I didn't realize Doc Brown was a full blown fucking pussy. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. I uh, am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? MC squared. I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong. Because elk equals moose times two. Obviously. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to Dog Brown. I'm actually getting fucking annoyed. <coughs> Listen, I'm not gonna lie. If we can't finish this first episode, we will abandon this entire project, and I will never bring it up again. Doc, I swear on that. How close the escape plan? I don't know. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. oh it actually worked. Good grief. Is that me? They're not good at signifying to you that what you did worked. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. 
But won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. <laughs> so the Matrix. So it'll be fine. <laughs> I... In there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. You know what's bad is I understood a third of what he was trying to say and... I understood about science. half and I'm still annoyed. God damn it. Oh my god. Hey, just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. No, it's not. Yeah, no, nah, it's uh, it's uh, more of a local crime. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott, if H is a Hamiltonian... Hey, you did great, Scott! ...by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head nope. all week! Nope, I'm too drunk. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Uh... <laughs> It's like this. You know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one. Oh, my answer didn't matter. What? You're Could have said I'm from Vulcan of the future. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Because remember, he likes Welcome. Jules Verne. I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally. Oh, that's the lightsaber. Model, but it's nearly operational. It turns off after 10 you, minutes. Say, first thing in the oh, all right. It goes into like deep sleep. Now nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a <laughs> competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done. I mean, <laughs> Dr. McCoy. Time, but I haven't got oh. the for the uh, I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes. Listen, I'll help you deliver <coughs> it. See to what you get the alcohol you need. It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Arthur McFly? I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. I think he didn't hear you say hey, that. I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Ah, oh, achievement unlocked. Hello, young what friend. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No. Yeah. Why not? Get Danny to tell us where Arthur's hiding. Oh, yeah, well, get Danny over here. Yeah. Chicago overcoat. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. It's like a, a, a drug-free Lois Lane. Oh, I already gave you one. <laughs> yeah, you got two. I eat these things fast. They're delicious. Oh, my God. Don't knock over the... Oh, wait. That's empty. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you're right in the recycling. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under the shady. management. Shady. And oh, you mustn't jump to any conclusions. Oh yeah, That's we're the eating these sweet tart snacks, I people on YouTube. It's just a rumor. That soup little rope things with the rainbow rope. Fight. Delicious. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable <laughs> institutions. Stay that Sober. Me for soup deliveries. I don't know the meaning of that. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? Uh, about Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. <laughs> oh my god. Right, we're back in the it's fucking thirties. Right. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. 
I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Yeah, she's home telling you where she family, drops off the booze. Home, Listen. Yeah. It's a very big job. She doesn't even know she's doing it. Hey, I can help you deliver soup, but I don't need a lot of time to charity. Oh, which one? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. <laughs> well, you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Who, who's who's in charge? Well, there's Luigi Mario, Mario and his older brother Mario Mario. Town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Huh. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. <laughs> I love that. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums the SS. and turning them into former S. hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place up for, you know, good <laughs> causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. I'm sorry about the way Einstein. Oh, I already that did that. Thing. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. That is cute, though. I got a book. Right? Oh, where? <laughs> I got a book. Oh, where? Get it? Cause I got a book. Like, I got a boogie, but like... Um... I love that Aini is just like, hey, it's my owner. Why does he look a little different? I don't know, but he smells great. <laughs> like, dogs don't know. Like, I'm sure if you had a dog in the past and you showed up from the future to the past, your dog would be, like, so stoked to see you. Like, hey, you're home again. Wait a minute, you just came home. Oh, whatever. Hey, how you doing? Dogs are both cool and stupid like that. Because they don't have the like, right perception. You know, that's of why I'm, I'm. That's why I'm so annoyed by the barking dogs next door. I fucking love dogs, I really do. But it's like I don't love it when they're barking, barking, Thank barking, barking, and then it goes on what? for like twenty minutes. The truck just arrived with a fresh half hour. One dog in the neighborhood over there soup. with the gated community soup. was going for a half hour well, uh, to like forty minutes before people started soup. showing up, this knocking on the door, and being like, "Yo, why is your like?" It wasn't even me. It was multiple why? people showing up. We all showed up at the door at the same time, being like. You're here from the debarking dog, right? They're like, yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, blah blah blah. What the fuck? Oh, sorry, I'm in the shower. It's like, I'm spicing up the soup. It's You're in the shower for 40 minutes with a barking Listen, dog. This ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these. You're going wrong. I take no long showers. I'd pluck my head. I'd be like, the shut the fuck up. Business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just hey, you knock off that goofing around and listen to the video game. You know what I'm saying? Well. Uh, I Ooh. can see why you want to keep this a secret. Are you bad at making soup? Soup's easy. You get some broth, some meat, some noodles, some vegetables, some good fucking spices. Boom! You got a soup. Get a nice crock pot and you don't have Bro, to Bro, soup is so easy. Oh my god, now I want soup. Now I want to make my own soups. Because I just chock it full of everything. It wouldn't be a soup, it'd be a fucking stew. That's that moment where you put a little flour in it, make it. What you do is you uh, cook your chicken breast, mm. then you shred it, mm. then you throw the cooked chicken breast into the crock pot, and yeah, it's add the broth, add the vegetables, add everything you want, and let that bitch simmer. 
So you gotta add it in layers, mm-hmm. otherwise it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Anyone who's tried to use a crock pot for an eight hour cook on a roast knows that potatoes at eight hours, there is no potato anymore. Mm-hmm. It's dissolved in the sludge. To be fair, that's still kind of tasty though. It is. Like, but, don't wrong, I like chunks of potato, but also like a, a stew with a potato y texture to it. Yeah, so it's. <laughs> I could kind of dig on that. <coughs> Fuck so it. You, Shut up! You're making me. Are you making that tomorrow? What are you making tomorrow? Are you making anything? Or are we getting pizza? I don't know. I could throw. I could throw ten bucks on a pizza. I'll happily throw ten bucks on a pizza, and nobody has to pay me anything back. All right. Uh. Yeah, we can probably do that. All right. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me. Talking to me? Uh, Are you talking to me? Cause I'm the only chubby face here. Did I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Oi! Eat it. <laughs> uh, what kind of soup is this? It tastes like. Scroll a ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you And boy says the soup episode. This soup <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna try to remember Shut that when titling this. Way too much talks about soup. Getting Chill about a it. little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. Come on, common a folks are gonna kill anyone. Common folks will uh, fuck heck. themselves. <laughs> you got I want you to kids. chop up some habaneros and throw them in the soup. Right? Let me show you how to make a soup, son. See, I wish I could uh, spice up my chili, but yeah, no. your bro can't handle that. Yeah, yeah, rat can't handle those spice things, gentlemen. Fucking cancer, man. It's a beast. Come on, that. Uh. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open. There is a puzzle to this, but I can't remember. I can't remember the puzzle. Wait. I need like a wrench or something. That's how you know. What I need to do is make it so that somehow that shelf all those barrels are on is a little askew. And then when it goes down, when I hit the pipe, the barrel rolls over and I can just grab it. Mm. Yeah. How? I don't really know. Talk to Emmett. 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 Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle. Just listen up for a second. Uh huh. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute, perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. <laughs> the very in-your-face elevator. 
Damn it, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, yeah. No, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, that's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Did you come up with anything? Uh, uh. Look at that sheepish little smile he does. There's mm -hmm. no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Yeah, maybe. It... Okay, I can't talk to Emmett. I don't know. Doc! Figure something out, Doc. What I need is something. Eureka! Oh. I guess I figured it out. Emmett. Yes? You said Eureka? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. By mechanical, mechanical ingenuity, I mean uh, duct tape, a spatula, and a stick. Obviously, this kitchen is... Oh, wait, I already said that. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Ill repute. Right. That might explain the elevator. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if All I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. Oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. All right. of this would be solved if they just made marijuana illegal. Uh, marijuana legal. We'll score that hoop you know? somehow. I'll keep cogitating. You can make everything else illegal if <laughs> people love weed, dude. We know what. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. This is true. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. His speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the the just eat your damn soup, hip squeak. <laughs> <coughs> so this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. That's some good legal talk they got you to recite. <laughs> Mind if I look around a bit? No. It's like, yes, I do. Do I got nothing to hit that with? I can't remember what I need to hit it with. His name's Cuball. That's great. Maybe I need to go outside and find something. Unless. Boom, kid. Okay. I I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Dipping your balls into it? Paprika? Paprika? I, I, I just think you could use a little eh, color. Color? Hmm.
I like how there's a vague sound of a baseball game going on. Mm. <coughs> 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 Oh. 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 Well, that was easy. Remember how we were talking about with subliminal overthinking shit? Yeah. In this mockery of all that is good and decent. You got some nice tits, though. Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Oh, it'll take us one uh, giggle stick for her to loosen up a little. You know what I'm saying? I gag on the hypocrisy. Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a French cigarette. Oh yeah, that's right. You need to watch the Reefer Madness musical. I'll just bet you will. <laughs> oh. Uh. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all you have to do is to get it from her somehow. Oh. Wait, why did we need the door propped open? Oh, I guess it stopped it from falling or something? I don't know. Fine, whatever. It worked. I'm not overthinking it. Come on, Emmett. You're my new companion. Now I'm Doctor Who. And you're the companion. Other than the other way around. With you being an elusive old idiot. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. What it's like to be sober your whole life like that? As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The rest home. No, it's way past their bedtime. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Can I just lie? The insane asylum. No, too much soup makes them nervous. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running uh. low on soup. Does somebody need a visit oh, for my tedious. soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we have oh. invited refreshments. That's so obvious. Can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Wait there. Michael, what in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? I was thinking of getting you laid, bro. Need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get this. I just wanted to note you are in the 1980s right NES oh, category. The that question. doesn't make I, any I sense my house. at all no, because we're not playing any NES game or anything. And um, please don't and say you didn't. Okay? Cool. Great. That is sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too <sighs> noisy for him. Just because we're playing a Back to the Future game doesn't mean we belong in the NES category. Okay, like that doesn't even make any sense. Um. Uh... They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but. But what? But it's still impossible. Come on, you get laid. Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Damn, dude. I promise, Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't. No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait. Damn! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland. I don't Come on, Emmett, get your dick wet! I'm uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. 
Hamboy says, I think you meant saying you're playing the NES game, I'm but I'm not, though, so get the fuck out of here. How you worry too much, Emmett? Now all we gotta Still do get is the fuck out of here. And we're off to build Clearly we're not playing the fucking NES patent. game. I, yeah, your uh, patent. Unless the NES looks fucking amazing. If this came out on the NES, people would have shit themselves. I'm just saying. I think we gotta go talk to other Doc. <sighs> gotta go fast. And by fast, I mean it's super slow and annoying. You know what's funny? With how Telltale has grown now and how they actually the games work a lot better now, they would do great at Doctor Who. <laughs> I could see a Telltale Doctor Who game being fucking sick. But then again, you know. I see parallel universes that are really cool. Doc. It's the problem with eternity. Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, his name's Arthur. He's Kid Tannen's accountant. Uh, Whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. But consequences could be catastrophic. No, got it. Okay. Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I miss you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Everything is dumb. I think the internet just gave up. Predictable teenagers. Yeah, I think the internet just gave up. Well, fuck. It's okay. We're 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 still recording. Just not streaming. I don't know, cause the Xbox still seems to be going, but um. Oh, there it goes. Yep. It was the internet. Alright. So you gotta just unplug this. Plug it back in. The internet will restart, but we're still recording, so. You know, fuck it. See, our counter went from three to four, and I think it might be one of the haters just. Cause you know you can just sign into a website and log people out of their own fucking internet, right? Fucking yeah. Wi-Fi, man. Oh, no, it's not even Wi-Fi. It's a website you can just go to. Yeah. Wait, where is his dad? My grandpa. I don't know. Emmett. Yes. Don't worry, Emmett. We'll get that subpoena delivered. If you say so. If you say so. Yeah, for those who are ever wondering what that little symbol is on the upper right hand, well... Now you know. I won't even continue the stream after we're done. After it's done reloading and everything. We'll just finish the actual recording. See, if the recording fails, we got the stream. If the stream fails, we got the recording. The if hell, both Matt, those you, fails, you, you got it wasn't meant to be. <coughs> Get out of here. <laughs> How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? You want to get shot, boy? the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen. We got other plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Okay. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. 
I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Ah, okay. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. <laughs> I feel it. Thanks, motorcycle. See, this will be nice when we have individual mics. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. <coughs> the office. I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? I know, it's so when tedious, I tell right? Him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> <coughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! <laughs> What'd you do? Oh. <clears throat> Shit! Well, it's no hoverboard scene. Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! Nice. Damn it. Jump on. Yes, because that joke is new. Come on, in live action, that would have been pretty sick. Oh. Why is there just a huge pile of shit on the ground? Uh, because that's where he shot himself when the hat was taken. Where do you learn how to move like Gentle that? Jack Thomas. Thomas, good time mayor. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, I just put a fedora in my pocket. You know, no problem. Uh, okay, now what? Jesus. Right. The dog. Uh, <laughs> of course. That actually makes perfect sense. Can I just select the dog so I can auto walk over? Nope. Gotta do the little sprint all the way over. Arnie. 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 Whatever your name is. Arnie. Let me sniff the hat. Of course. Because he was a patent officer just like you. Yeah. Handsome dog. He belongs to you? No, he's your dog. Uh, typical uh, neighborhood stray. Theorize, Einstein. Can you theorize for me? He's a good boy. I stiff the fucking hat. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. <coughs> hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Yes, I can. Going? Only one way to find out. <coughs> Thank God, finally. It's not like your younger self would recognize you looking like that. Like if I saw my 80 or 70 year old, or even like 65 year old self, I probably wouldn't recognize myself, right? Deja vu. I know. Oh I my! Would. I don't know. You're gonna look fucking creepy. You're well, either gonna look creepy or look like an old rocker Viking. I'm hoping for the latter. I hope you do grow your 
goatee out and like uh, braid it and everything. We'll see. Keep it growing. Just I'm choosing not to trim this part don't, to see what I can do with don't it. Don't trim it. Shave your fucking face. Though. Yeah. You know yeah. what I do? I just keep a razor and... Um, oh, I so don't use razors. You use an electric razor? Yeah. See, when my facial hair gets long, too long to use just a regular razor, I'll cut it all off with an electric razor. And then when I get in the shower, I have a regular razor in the foam. And then I just hit it with some barbersol and then just I, scrape that off. And then, boom, I'm done. I can't stand the feel of a razor blade on my fucking face. Yeah, some people are very sensitive to that stuff. Yeah. I Who like the it? feeling. It's McFly. Shh, I know. Hey Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. I need to show him his stupid hat. All right, there! Because I said, hey, it's a wonderful kind of day. What now? Get your ass out, out here to see your hat and play. Or I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. What? That doesn't make any sense. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. I don't think Arthur would respond to that recording. He only listens to Tannen. Someone's playing tricks on me. Yeah. We need to get a recording of Biff Tan or Kid Tannen. Nah. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I need another hint. Give me another hint. I don't think so. Oh, I see. It's because I had the recorder as a selected item and you can't use it on the... Yeah, don't even get me started. You know what you gotta do. Come on, Marty, you can do it. I love how tiny he is, by the way. Because, you know, Michael J. Fox is like five foot six or something. <laughs> I know. I love him, though. I would I would give him the biggest hug if I ever met him. He's one of my heroes. I also loved him. Do you remember him, um, Scrubs? We should watch that sometime. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats He plays a hypochondriac the and a germaphobe. Uh, and I've always found that matches. character very empowering. I need to record him. Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! Oh. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! You see how that works, yeah? Make me angry, Smucko! Get down here! And face the music! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. You can't right get now. away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and Lee. Einstein! Help! Help us on the way, Marty. Lay off. Get away from me, dog. Go, go away, so we're busy here. Go on, scram. Last two sticks. Hey, where'd he go? Sweet top rope. You let him get away, idiot. Mm hmm. Hit him again. All right, just for good measure. 
Hey guys, I'm right here. Worst fucking Lobsters chase ever. Yeah, worst chase scene ever. I know they're the worst. See, I can see that working in cinematic though. You know, they're doing that. He records, then Arnie, I, I need comes up, and like Brock set down, and then they look back up, and Marty's gone. You know, and he's already run off. But the way that is, he's like, it's not even a block away. He's across the street and at light around the corner, where there's like a half barrier that you can fully see him. What now? Oh, I keep hitting X. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! Because they don't know what a tape recorder is. Uh, where's kid? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay. If you say so, Marty. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you Invisibility! To and provide evidence in the investigation into... Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't oh, there it get is. rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report like to a magic the trick. at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? <laughs> that kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I going to do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Please tell me we're done. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your D, last... D, we're day. still on episode one. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind you know, fuck it. Just in case Hamboy wants to come back. Is Xbox Live still... What the... No, it's not. I know future patent Fine, whatever. Be without a lab. Come on. Whatever, big loves Hamboy. Doc, probably yeah, our, I, I think probably our biggest room. fan. Yeah, he's always Paddington's there. number two. Time waits for no man. Only because Hamboy shows up more. But to be fair, Paddington might have a lot going on. He's always real cool when he shows up. Yeah. Are you sure? And then Mama Gemini. Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. I know, we've got like three loyal fans, but you know what? That's all you need. Sometimes. That's great. I love you, ham boy! It's very simple. This shaft induces a powerful direct current into the chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be very... If I remember to make that in a short, I will. Just for him. Attending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of duper bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Just tile it, we love loyal fans. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? So many. Uh... Hey, Matt, why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? We fancy Moses! It's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. He thinks this is where I come in to masturbate. Get rid of him. Get the No, come here, Dad! I'm learning law! It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. What? Amen! Coming, Father! The right to procreate! Don't you pardon me, child. Okay, what did he want me to do? Eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Groovy. Am I 
world if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Fire. Nope, electricity. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! <coughs> Oops. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Release valve. Oh, I see that. Sorry. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! <laughs> Hold on. I just had an idea. Subtitles. Feed the ducks, father. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Why didn't I have the subtitles on? You should always have subtitles on for games. I get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Well, I mean, yes, but also he's giving you a good profe profession. I'm just saying law is always going to be a thing. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's cruel. Damn, harsh. Uh, halfway there. Living on a prayer. Keep up the good work. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Don't burn your bridges so what? clearly, my son. Oh, what use is a microorganism for long? I'm trying to spin this argument around to my failings. Okay. Are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Okay, good. It's getting a little too. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Oh, mother, and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. I get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. You already used that argument! Almost there. Get him out! Start coming, father! That's what he said. Wait, what? Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's cruel. Do you know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Ah, ah. Is eating me up That's inside. true though. No, 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 no. That's why I hate this game. What did you do, Emmett? Who are you talking to in there? No one, Father. No soup for you. Get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Everybody talking to me in my Release entire life. From your unattainable expectations. Am, do I get a turn to talk, Harlan, or are you get a <laughs> monologue? Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Oh no! See? Damn! Just pay attention to what I say. I'm trying, I Doc! Your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. I know it's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. <coughs> a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Wait, you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Why must you always scatter a condescension my way? Food. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Assuring me to be something I'm not. I honor your wishes. 
You treat me like common bacteria. Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? What use is a microorganism for long? No idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Come on! You are killing me. Oh my god, I want this to end. D. D. I want this to fucking end. Hamboy wants us to call this the soup episode, but I want to call it Make It End. Why, why does he look so sinister standing there? Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. We ate all of them. Alright. You've gotta get this the sweet baby to the US Patent Office. Uh, exactly. Tell me, Michael. When can I- What I love is that we mentioned this in another stream. But whenever that video comes out, whenever this video comes out, it's so drastically different uh, yeah. that I have to mention the same suite twice. So if you're a longtime viewer who watches every episode, you're going to be like, Hey, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And that's like maybe one person. <laughs> oh, in about, I'd say... Look at that happy can't. face. Huh? Emmett, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I can't I lie to the to, homie. But I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Marty, you. you're a piece I, I of shit. And Marty, safe. you're a pizza shit. You're gonna be a great inventor. Like, you know when I eat Domino's and I have those huge farts and everything? You're a pizza shit. You're one of those where it's like, it's chunky, it's terrible, it's what? hardcore, but when it's over and I finish like wiping and taking a shower and I oh, finally sit down in my things. chair fully dressed, oh, it's good though. It's good though. Is this episode over yet? No, because you still got to break Doc. D, it's been two hours! Uh, <laughs> ah! <coughs> Come on, start. Boom, boom. Go! Oh! You're literally breaking a man out of jail. Oh, there she is. And it broke. All that. All that and it broke. It broke. It broke. Too late. Too late. The doc's not supposed to be. Doc. They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Why? I better go get a quote from the police chief. Uh. What? Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still what? after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Why is he being transferred? Doesn't make any sense. I don't hey. know. Oh, I have an idea. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Strike to your back, son. Oh no, 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 no. That's No, I know. That's... I know what he's gonna do, and I wish I could do that in real life to my electric bike. Tell me about it. Rocket powered bike. They call me the Rocket Man. In the 30s, he was rocking the right, pink I'm bike. Because I'm a rocket man. Rocket man! Burning out his fuse out here alone. Alright, here's the climax. There's a service station. You can come in, they'll service you. They'll give you the full service. There's a woman named Elaine. She'll give you the full service. If you God, I... I that name. 
What, you don't like Elaine? Yeah, everybody's got their thing. I don't know, I just thought of a name. You're still in danger, Doc. I've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here, and we'll talk later. Clearly. Oh, this one. What's he doing here? That makes sense. Break the window, take the keys. And if you got a pistol, shoot him in the knees. Earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Because it would break it. Um. Na na na. <laughs> Can we stream it now, though? No. Because it failed, we have to, like, start from the beginning and exit. I'm not doing that. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out. Be careful, buddy. Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. Are you sure you don't want any whiskey? Yeah. I've got so much whiskey. Are you gonna make me drink all this whiskey? Nope. I'll be back. I'll wait right yes, here. you are. Maybe not. Okay. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. You sure? What do you want out of me, game? Gotta set up <laughs> a distraction. <laughs> Gotta keep him from looking my way. How do you do that? I don't know, tell Biff hi! Or whatever his name is. Kid. I like how the rockets are still going. <laughs> Keys. The window shut tight. What do you want out of me, man? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Have you, you sure tried? About that? It might break the window and then you get the keys and then you get dock out. What the f The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protraction of pertinence. What? A reach extender. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, hey driver. You're driving too fast! Watch how you take those curves! What are you trying to do? Kill me? Not quick enough! Can you distract him again? No problem! Hey! Hey, driver! I demand to know where you're... Let him know how last night you were fucking his mom. I object to your tone of voice, and I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable. Do you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You! Ow! You think this is the first time I've been punched in the I face, you little shit? You how did you know that? I have my sources.
I think you would just stop the vehicle. Yeah. And then shoot your stupid ass. But nope, he just keeps going. Stand back, Doc. Hi. Oh. Oh, that that makes sense. Eat lead, Sagan. Right in the hand. Far out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yes. Yeah, kind of a little bit. Lorraine was a bit of a bitch. A sexy doing, bitch. Like a gun? Oh yeah. Never find a gun, Doc. Oh, All right. Oh. Just a let go, Marty. Uh, that's the idea. Doc, on. Doc, the throttle. Oh. Uh. Yeah, the neighbor's dog is going up. Oh, there she is. Lorraine. Doc, Sexy okay? bitch. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Probably not much. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Marty, no! Oh, 